to go through the steps of installing the wall mount and the tube that goes through the wall. Basically all we're going to do is drill a hole through here, insert the pipe, cut it to length, leaving uh, three quarters of an inch long on the inside, three quarters of an inch on the outside. Uh, we have an entrance somewhere. This entrance goes on the outside. The pipe will go through the wall. This is the outside wall. Pipe fits in there. Pipe fits in the back here. So you cut your pipe to length. Good to go. Well, some of the considerations are what kind of wall you're going through, whether it's a blocked wall, whether it's a stud wall, um, what might be in the way one way or the other. To me, symmetry comes into play every once in a while. Um, you know, the surroundings, which way it's going to open, how it's going to swing, how it's going to pivot. Uh, you know, if we were to put it here, it wouldn't open fully because of the angle. If we put it in the middle here, it's going to cover up the window part of the time. So we've decided, probably going to put it here. We don't know if this is a solid wall, if it's a hollow wall, if there's any rebar in there, but that's always a consideration, but there's not much you can do until you start drilling. Unless, unless, you have these. And these will allow you to see through that wall and then you'll know if you're going to drill into anything crazy. Okay, once we've decided on the location, first thing I'm going to do is measure how high we're going to put it and that's based upon the school, the children, and where the uh, uh, teacher may have decided we want to go. But we're going to go 29 inches, anywhere from 28 to 36 inches is probably good. Um, you can see where we're going here. That's about 29 inches. So that's first thing. Get your measurement. The pipe that goes through the wall is inch and a half uh, conduit. I need a two inch hole. So I've got a two inch hole uh, plan there. I'm going to drill it a little bit big. It's kind of tough in the masonry. You never know what you're going to get, but um, you're probably going to need a hammer drill. You could do it with another drill. It's going to take some time. Main thing is you want to make sure that this hole, when you go through the outside, uh, you got a little bit of slope to it. So if any water condensation gets in there, it's going to, it's going to drain out. too bad uh, nothing in the way with the right tool makes it pretty easy there it is isn't that a nice hole it's a nice hole that's a nice hole all right obviously this hasn't been cut yet I just want to make sure that it goes through it's got a little bit of pitch to it that's perfect we want it to drain if it ever gets any moisture in there okay now that we have the hole we need to cut the pipe so I need to get a measurement from the outside to the inside. It's depending upon where you measure because of the type of block. I'm about eight inches. So I'm going to add three quarters of an inch on the inside, three quarters of an inch on the outside, which is an inch and a half. So eight plus an inch and a half, nine and a half. I'm going to cut this nine and a half. I'll probably cut it a little bit long. Uh, I can always trim it. If I cut it too short, obviously you can't add anything onto it. All right, get ready to install the tube through the wall. Got it all drilled out and um, to stick it in, I'm gonna caulk around it. Got the holes pre-drilled for the entrance and we'll mount it and the outside will be done here. installed outside the entrance is on you can see it's sticking out about three quarters of an inch which is perfect it's going to go in the back of here be nice and tight so I'm gonna the 
wall mounts up, anchor it with quarter inch by uh, inch and three quarter tap cons, which are made for masonry or block. And that's pretty much it. Uh, I think I've got nine in here. You can use lag bolts, you know, eight to 12 is, is you know, you probably can't have too many. You never know what you're going to run into. So you drill a hole and you keep your fingers crossed and hope for the best. And hope for the best. And hope for the best. So what are we doing now? We're, this is... That's what I like. Uh, it's not <laughs> rocket science. It's basically... 